Hello, today I'm going to show you how Abby Flexi Capture gives us the ability not to just extract information from documents and invoices, but also gives us the ability to uh, itemize them and code them in the right accounts. So for example, if we have a general ledger code, also known as a GL code, or even a cost center, we can apply those to an invoice as we process them. So what I've done is I've processed three documents and you can see those here uh, right in our document viewer window. On the left, once again, you'll see what the software extracted, and on the right, a copy of the actual invoice. Now, if you're curious how the software extracted the information, for example, what we came, uh, how we got this information here on the left, or how um, we can even train the software on how to find the information, please uh, look at other videos on our YouTube site or even on our website, and you'll be able to find specifics there. But for today's video, we're going to focus strictly on general ledger coding and cost center coding. You can see on the left, once again, we have everything we captured, including the line items. Now, the very cool part about the software is we have the ability to, as we're processing the invoice, assign a GL code, an expense account. So we can simply assign that, and you'll see it will automatically populate that for us, and then we can also assign a, a, um, you know, a cost center. So we can do that separately for each line item, and we'll just go ahead and select a couple here. And of course, I'm, I'm doing this uh, just very quickly, just because I want you to see how easy it is for an operator to process those. Once they're processed, we can export this document and the document will go into our business system with these properly coded. So it's very, very simple for the operator to do that. We'll go look at the other ones here. And it's the same idea. You go assign an, a GL code to the line item and then uh, a cost center. The, another neat feature of the GL coding is we have the ability to assign a default GL code for a vendor. So the very first GL code I have, it will assign as the default. Now this is an option. We can turn that on or off um, with every implementation or your, your specific requirements. But I do want to share that because it is a very nice way to speed this categorizing up. And you can just see it. It's as simple as the operating selecting. Uh, you know, which job code or uh, which GL code, and then the cost center here. And then, of course, we have our final one where we can do that very quickly. So we'll just run through these. We'll assign a GL code to every one of these as the operator of the process would know. And then we'll process a repeated invoice so that you can see the learning that the software did on the GL code. So we're just going to process another invoice here for a vendor, and the software is going to go through and extract the information for us like it has. You can see it's processing that right now, and it's completed. And there it is. The GL code has been saved automatically for that vendor. Now, once again, that's an option. You can turn that option on or off so that it populates it by default. But it is a very, very nice way to speed things up for us as we're coding the document so that we can get it into our business system, get it into our accounting system uh, downstream, and, and just make sure things are coded correctly. They're going to the proper cost center. And it makes it just very easy and quickly for the operator to do this. So this is really as simple as GL coding goes. We have the ability to categorize it here and on a per line item basis, as well as assign a cost center. Now these are very uh, limited uh, in my demo environment, so I only have a few or just four cost centers and maybe you know just several GL codes. Understanding that your GL codes may be much more vast and different, and that's not a problem. There's no limitation on the number of GL codes or even subcodes. Um, so no worries about that. You have the ability to make sure you have everything coded in the exact format and way that you do it in your accounting system. So what I've shown you today is Abby GL coding and cost center coding. It's a very, very unique way to do it. And the software has a, a lot of great capabilities in there for it to set defaults and just learn as we're processing invoices. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let us know. And we'd look forward to doing more business with you. Thank you so much.